Crypto chip company Katna wins lawsuit filed by Bitcoin miner Coinment. An arbitration panel ruled that Katna didn't mislead or deceive Coinment, awarding the chipmaker $14 million. Crypto technology firm Katna Computing didn't trick miner Coinment into a $150 million purchase agreement. A panel of arbitrators ruled last month in the mining company sued against Katna and a semiconductor company called DX Core. Coinment alleged in a lawsuit filed last year that Katna and DX Corp conspired to trick it into purchasing $150 million worth of Bitcoin mining machines that were never delivered. Coinment in the suit claimed that Katna bribed or otherwise influenced Coinment's former chief financial officer, Michael Maloney, to secure the sale, knowing full well it wouldn't be able to deliver mining chips it was still developing. The mining company demanded $23 million it had paid to Katna back. A panel of arbitrators ruled in February that Katna hadn't violated its agreements or deceived Coinment, denying all of Coinment's claims and awarding Katna just over $14 million. The arbitration panel found, according to a document filed in the court docket, that the evidence suggested Coinment and its executives independently chose to make the $150 million purchase without pressure or influence by Katna after initially negotiating a $100 million deal that Coinment itself raised to $150 million. The panel also ruled that Katna hadn't breached any contracts in its agreements with Coinment, saying that Coinment itself admitted it hadn't met all of the conditions it needed. While Coinment cited text messages shared between Katna executives as evidence the company was influencing Maloney, the panel said in its report that these messages were more brainstorming and ambitious chatter than concrete evidence the company was actively moving to hire the then CFO at Coinment. The panel also ruled that Katna hadn't misrepresented the state of a chip it was developing and marketing materials to Coinment. Katna submitted extensive evidence without any evidentiary rebuttal or impeachment by Coinment concerning the design of the ASIC application specific integrated circuit chip for the K10 and getting the chip design ready for submission to the foundry, including running simulations to test for errors in the chip's design, the Artibrator's order. Said, Katna also submitted other evidence that suggested it was actively working to manufacture the chips and miners it intended to sell Coinment, refuting one of Coinment's claims that Katna did not intend to produce the machines. We went through a full discovery process in which Katna produced everything according the panel's orders, in which Coinment avoided producing everything, said Michael Gao, a founder and partner at Katna. We both had the opportunity to hire expert witnesses, obviously, to defend our case. Coinment did hire their own expert witness, and they had the opportunity to review all of our technical plans, as well as anything in our due diligence report. So they had full access to basically all of the materials produced in discovery. According to Gao, Coinment's team struggled to identify any false claims made by Katna. The panel's ultimate report reflected this in that Katna didn't win on any technicalities, but based on the facts that the panel found, he said, not over yet. Coinment plans to file a motion to vacate the arbitration award, its new attorneys said in court filings. According to emails attached as an exhibit to its motion to vacate, the company is taking issue with how the arbitration process unfolded. Stephen Feldman, an attorney representing Coinment, wrote in an email that the panel undermined any semblance of due process, citing a decision to block transcripts from certain witnesses as one example. In its motion for an extension, Coinman's attorneys wrote that they believe there are grounds to vacate the order, pointing to the lack of recorded testimony as one example. Material factual findings in the award are plagued by the panel's prohibition of a record. For example, the award asserts that there was no evidence that one witness Coinman's former chief financial officer, Michael Maloney, was offered a job at Katna. A key component of Katna's alleged wrongdoing, the filing set that is patently false as Maloney admitted to the contrary in his testimony testimony that the panel blocked Coinment from recording. An attorney for Katna disputed Coinment's characterization of the process, according to the emails filed as an exhibit. Jacob Tabor of Perkins Coy wrote in one email that the parties have fought long and hard for years. Coinment lost. As I'm sure you can appreciate, our client has already been waiting for years for your client to pay what was owed under the contract and is very interested in a quick resolution to any dispute regarding the award, he said in another email. District Judge Richard Seaborg, the Northern District of California jurist overseeing the case, granted an extension for Coinment to file its opposition and motion to vacate by April 1. A request for Comments sent to an attorney for Coinment who took over after the arbitration process ended and an inquiry sent via its website were not immediately returned.